First of all, vaccines save lives. And I am so excited and I thank and I commend Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg for taking action because this affects everyone. This affects our children. It affects adults. I mean, just look at the recent measles outbreak, the biggest outbreak that we've had in decades with measles. And, and that's no joke. Measles can cause brain inflammation and pneumonia and ear infections and hearing loss and death. So it's about time that they are taking action. And I hope and pray that other social media platforms will follow suit and do the same thing. Well, there you have it, warriors. We have somewhat of some questionable picks from the Donald Trump um, administration for his cabinet picks. Yeah, some things are a little bit questionable, but you know what? I say that you can't agree with everyone about everything. You know how the saying goes, you just can't throw the baby out with the bath water. There's not going to be one person that you 100% agree with on every single thing. I've been married 20 plus years and there are some things I don't agree with my husband on. But do I throw him away when he's kind, faithful, loves me and the family? Do I do that? He has respect for the things of God. So do I just throw him away? So I have come to that conclusion that I cannot throw the baby out with the bathwater because Donald Trump has made some cabinet picks that I find a little bit questionable. But before we get into it, don't forget to like this video, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell and watch the video to the end. So Dr. Jeanette Neshiwat, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I would just call her Dr. Jeanette. She has very much, very good experience, very good resume. She has the qualifications, seemingly, but there is some controversy. Just as you saw from that clip, she is, I want you to know, she seemed to be pro-censorship, calling things that are against vaccines on Facebook misinformation. That sounds like a democrat to me, or like a, a rhino. So I'm not sure where this is all going, why this person is for boosters. She was very pro-mask, very much for vaccinating children. And we on the right side of things, this is not what we voted for, okay? I'm not happy with this. And then it seemingly contradicts RFK Jr. So let's check out a little bit more about this Dr. Jeanette. Okay, Warriors, we have President-elect Donald Trump's nominee for Surgeon General has not been well received on social media over her past advocacy for unscientific and bureaucratic COVID measures. As you all know, she was a Fox contributor and medical director at CDMD. And it says, Dr. Jeanette Neshiwat had even praised Facebook for censoring anti-vaccine misinformation and encouraged other social media companies to do the same. You know, this is not something I'm happy to hear. And again, it contradicts what RFK Jr. is doing. It is just... And it's not being received well at all. It says, yes, what a disastrous pick, especially when it's demon Cortez approved. No one wants a Fox News propagandist from the COVID days as our Surgeon General. Wow. Um, here she is again. This is another clip. She's, again, always on Fox News. It's it's so disheartening to see our athletes or anyone in, in for that matter test positive and, and this is because of the Delta variant. It's a lot more virulent. It's a lot more contagious and it has um, made our vaccines slightly weaker. Now our vaccines still work. They're good enough to keep you off of a ventilator and uh, keep you um, from passing away from this virus, but they're not 100%. And because it's so contagious and more virulent, um, you carry a thousand times the viral load of previous strains. And that's why we're seeing uh, these uh, further breakthrough infections. And that's why it's still, still so important. If you haven't yet gotten your vaccine, it's not too late. Go out and get it. Protect yourself. Wear your mask if you're not vaccinated because we are seeing a spread not just among the unvaccinated, but also among the vaccinated, even though majority of those who are hospitalized and who have passed away from COVID are those who are unvaccinated right now. Do you worry the mask talk and the talk of breakthrough infections may convince those who have been reluctant to get vaccinated to do nothing? 
I hope not. Americans are smart. And if they can understand that the primary goal of the vaccine, again, is to keep you from being hospitalized and to prevent you um, from losing your life, then it can still really um, be very beneficial. Again, most of my patients who tested positive, um, which is just a small number, had mild symptoms or no symptoms at all. So the, vi the, the vaccine can still offer a lot of protection um, and uh, it, it's still uh, important that we go out and get that. And if you have any questions or concerns about the vaccine, speak to your healthcare provider. Um, we have data that shows it's, uh, it's safe and it's effective and it can prevent a lot of long-term complications as well. Well, that's her. Dr. Jeanette, again, she was a contributor on Fox, as you very well saw, and medical director for CityMD, qualified, but very pro-vax, very pro all the things, you know, get your, yeah, get the thing, right? Get the thing. I never got the thing. No one in my house ever got the thing. And I told you everyone in my house voted for Donald Trump. I told you that, and it's true. So why are we getting these controversial picks? And we've got to deal with another one. I've already talked about Pete Hegseth. And you know, Megyn Kelly did a whole thing on the police report. And that was very thorough and very good. You all should very much check that out because it is very much showing that this whole thing about Pete Hegseth is manufactured. That woman is not telling the truth. This Jane Doe. This Jane Doe who had this interlude with Pete Hexeth while her husband was at the same hotel a few doors down. No evidence <laughs> from any of the witnesses that she was drugged or intoxicated or acting weird or funny. She was in her full faculties. So Pete Hexeth should be confirmed. OK, and don't forget that there are people out there who've done much worse, who have not faced any dis any scrutiny from the media in any event. This Dr. Jeanette, this just doesn't go along with how we are on the right. We don't want anyone there trying to encourage us to get certain things in our bodies, right? My body, my choice sound familiar, except in this case, I'm not harming anyone else. I'm totally just me, no other living person inside of me. I choose not to do this. But I'm not saying she would be for mandates or anything like that. I just find it odd that she is very pro that way, pro the thing. And then RFK is not for the thing. And he's going after pharmaceutical companies. But pharmaceutical companies are the ones that create these type of things. <laughs> so it's a very um, contradiction contradictory in my opinion i'm just not sure and then i've got to talk about the depart the treasury director i have got to talk about it i'm going to do another video you can check it out right after this one is going to be linked at the end of this one i am like i don't i don't know how i feel about all these things coming down i gotta say this is not i'm not happy with it but still Still, like the example I gave you at the beginning, I'm married. I have a wonderful husband, but does he do absolutely everything I want him to do? No, he doesn't like to make the bed up. <laughs> Little messy, but he's kind and funny and just really loves. He's really in love with me, as he should be, <laughs> and I'm in love with him as well. So I'm not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I'm just, I would like, oh, I got to address this. I've really got to address this. You know, um, people wanted Dr. Ben Carson to be the Surgeon General. They did not want this Dr. Jeanette. They wanted Dr. Ben Carson. Well, it came to my attention that it looks like, and I say it looks like Dr. Ben Carson does not want the position of Surgeon General. So in case there are some clefty lefty who clicks on my video, of course he wouldn't pick anybody black. I thought Dr. Ben Carson was a good pick. And trust me, those of us who are on the right, who are conservative, who support Trump. We wanted Dr. Ben Carson. I was so salivating over it. And then that's not what happened. But he does have a black cabinet member, as he has had in the past. But for some reason, it appears, I'm not sure how accurate this is, that Dr. Ben Carson does not want to be Surgeon General. 
that's what's been out there. It's been pretty much corroborated by a lot of people that that's not a position that he wants. So, of course, Donald Trump is not going to pick someone who does not want that position. And let me just say something else before I get into this next cabinet pick in this video. I'm going to talk about Scott Turner, who is the um, HUD, you know, pick, housing and urban development pick, and he's black. I want to say that there are not a lot of black pro-MAGA, pro-Trump politicians out there. They are not more than there used to be. There are more black Trump supporters. But Trump supporters is not the same thing as a person in the area of politics who is pro-Trump, pro-MAGA, Republican, who he, who he knows because there's not a lot of Republican black people in politics, period. So you don't have a lot to choose from. So before people like Joy Reid and Reverend Al Sharpton, Sharp Tongue, want to get out here and claim that the man is a racist because he doesn't have any black people. At the time, he didn't have any black people when they brought it up. They're not thinking all the way through. I mean, you know, I don't expect anything more from a clefty lefty anyway. There are not that many black Republican politicians, period, period. So what is he supposed to choose from? You know, so we have to keep those sort of things in mind. And there are other places that we need people. We need people in the Congress. We need people in the Senate who are pro MAGA. OK, we need them to get laws pushed through. So we don't need to lose a congressperson, a senator and or it's put them up in the cabinet. We don't need that. They need to stay where they are so that we can get these laws passed, okay? I hope everyone understands that. But I wanted you to see this, Dr. Jeanette, why everyone is up in arms about this woman, okay? Because she's pro the jab thing. She's pro that mask and mandates and evenly even appeared to be for censorship on Facebook. Now, she doesn't sound like your traditional MAGA Republican. So I'm going to call this a thumbs down, in my opinion. You all may feel differently. I'm not happy with the pick. I'm still happy with my choice for president and that he won and that he'll be inaugurated January 20th. Still pray, prayer warriors. Just pause for a moment and let's talk about taking care of our bodies on the inside and outside. If you're concerned about your health, then you absolutely should visit C60 Evo. C60 Evo is a health and wellness company out of Houston, Texas. They make the best products for your inner health and outer beauty. Everything is 100% organic, made right here in the US of A. Check out the link in the description and input the discount code chat with Linda or Linda B to get your discount. Now, in other news, we have a Scott Turner. Scott Turner, HUD, yes, Housing and Urban Development. He is Black. Are you happy now, you race baiters? Al Sharpton and Joy Reid, are you happy now, you race baiters? I can't see. I can't wait to see what you have to say next. But you know what they're going to say? Well, they only put him in the Housing and Urban Development. Why didn't he put him as, you know, why did he put Dr. Ben Carson as Surgeon General? You know, he had Dr. Ben Carson over her too. Wah, wah. Well, in any event, let's check out some things about Scott Turner. Hey, this is Scott Turner. I had the honor of playing in the National Football League for nine years. You know, when I was playing in the league, every game, after a hard-fought three-hour battle, we would come together, both teams, and we would take a knee in the middle of the field to give glory and honor to God for blessing us. That is him. He's an NFL veteran, NFL veteran, and he, he honors God. And that's good. I really like that. And it says, thank you, Mr. President. I am thrilled to continue the outstanding work we began in your last administration at HUD with an incredible team. I am deeply humbled by your confidence in my nomination. I would also like to express the sincerest of gratitude to my mentor, Secretary at 
real Ben Carson. Few people are as compassionate and gracious as he is. And I am aware that I have big shoes to fill. The forgotten men and women of this great country over the past four years will be honored in the Trump administration. Lastly, I am eternally grateful to my wonderful wife, Robin, my son, Solomon, and the many incredible friends who have supported me on this journey. We have an important mission ahead. To God be the glory. Let's get to work. And here is the statement from Donald Trump to nominate Scott Turner from the great state of Texas as the secretary of the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development. So Scott is an NFL veteran who during his first term, during Trump's first term, served as the first executive director of the White House Opportunity and Revitalization Council, helping to lead an unprecedented effort that transformed our country's most distressed communities. Those efforts working together with former HUD Secretary Ben Carson were maximized by Scott's guidance in overseeing 16 federal agencies, which implemented more than 200 policy actions furthering economic development under Scott's leadership. Opportunity Zones received over $50 billion in private investment. Black Opportunity Zones, more than $50 billion in investment. All right. So that's Scott Turner. He looks was very, I'm just, I'm a happily married woman, but I must say he's easy on the eyes. <laughs> he's easy on the eyes. And he looks to be very much a God person. And, and that uh, by all accounts, we want that. So I don't have any problems with this man here, Scott Turner at all. Well spoken, intelligent. Um, not the easy on the eyes hurts, but it's easy on the eyes. And yeah, the other people that are that I go, I'm going to do a video on, I'm just not really feeling right now. But I want to show you a little bit something else about Scott. This is the greatest team. I've been able to play on a lot of teams, San Diego, Washington, Denver. But this is the greatest team because we have the opportunity to make a generational impact. Us together. See, revitalization doesn't have a color. It doesn't have a party. Revitalization starts in the heart of every man. <laughs> and I'll say that because if we focus on the true mission and the people, the grandmothers, the grandfathers, the next generation coming after us, the kids that are truant, now they're working, the single mothers who now have a job to restore dignity and hope in their family and in the community. That's why I'm here. And I believe that's why you're here. So Mr. President, thank you. I'm ready. He's ready. OK, he is ready. Now, I'm 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 so far. I don't have anything to complain about with him. Um, we'll see how things work out. But we have got to keep praying for this country. We really have to do this because we have the greatest country in the world. I love this country. But more important than that, I love my God. I want freedom of religion, freedom of speech. I am pro-family and pro-country. All the things that we stand for on the conservative side of things. So we got to get together, warriors, and we got to pray like we've never, ever prayed before. And this is going to be magnificent. But before I end this video, I want to show you one more thing with Scott Turner. America today, we've lost our way. And I say that in regards to our culture, our current day culture, and how, you know, there's so much division. And I know that's no secret to anyone. But the fact of the matter is there's so much division in our country and regarding, and it's centered around, you know, race relations and, uh, you know, the, the new issue or the issue now of transgenderism, you know, and politics is in everything. And there's this wedge of division in our country, there's a political wedge, you know, there's an, an ethnic wedge, there's a gender wedge, there's all kinds of wedges of division. Uh, and this country is torn apart, mainly because we've lost sight of really who we are. And we have to remember that we are the United States of America, founded on biblical foundation, as Pastor Paula was speaking of. And because of these, you know, there's so many things that are happening the chaos uh, that is in our country. We don't serve a God of, of confusion or chaos. We serve a God of clarity. 
Amen. Amen. That again is Scott Turner. He's going to be the, the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, which in Trump's first administration, as we all know, Dr. Ben Carson was over that department. But thank you all so much. Don't forget to like this video, comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now I have another video coming up right now that you can click on and it is in regards to the Department of the Treasury Secretary. And it's a good one. You all be blessed. Love God, your families, the United States of America, and March on Warriors.